okay so hello guys welcome back to the new video in this video i will show you how you can verify your forms using uh, an uh, otp on form submit and so let me show the demonstration of the uh, video which we're going to make here so here you can see that i have this form which is made using the uh, elementor pro and okay so let me submit this form so let me enter a full name here any random name so let me name here uh, wiki and after that we have to enter an uh, email address here so let me enter here email address demo at the rate gmail.com and after that we have to enter a uh, random message here so let me random message demo mail for testing demo mail for testing otp and and after that we have to enter our mobile number here so first uh, let me enter the mobile number so we have to enter this mobile number here after that we will receive an uh, otp on this uh, on this number so let me click on the submit button so it will send an uh, otp on this uh, on this number okay so let me enter this otp here we have received our otp the otp is 9013 so we have to just enter the otp here and click on the validate otp so after clicking on the validate otp it will uh, say that uh, otp is validated successfully and your submission was successful okay so in this video i will show you how you can validate your uh, elementor forms using an uh, otp on form submit okay so let's start the video and we're going to make this from scratch so let's start the video and first we have to make this form here so for making the form we need uh, we need this type of plugin so the first plugin is the uh, elementor and then it's pro version and then we need the sms select woocommerce okay so you have to just install this from here you have to go to uh, add new plugin option and in the add new plugin option you have to search here uh, sms alert woocommerce so after searching this it will uh, give you the result so you have to just install this uh, plugin by kokozi vision technologies okay so you have to just install this uh, plugin then after installing what we have to do we have to go to our uh, elementor and let's go to our settings and in the settings we have to go to the features option and here in the features option you have to activate the submissions so whenever you submit your form uh, this will submit its uh, uh, information here okay so we have to just activate this from here and we have to click the save changer so after that all the uh, all the uh, all the submission will come here in this folder okay so if you go to your submission folder you can see that all the submissions are here okay so let's start the video and first we have to make this form so for making this form uh, i'm going to make a new page here and I'm going to try to replicate the designs which I have made here. So let me go to here and we're going to name our page uh, form and we have to choose the default template to uh, Elementor full width. So let's publish this and after publishing, we have to just uh, uh, let's go to our backend and after that we have to click this in a new tab. So right now you can see that this is open. So let me go to the uh, edit page option. And after that, we have to go to uh, edit with Elementor. Okay, so let's start making and we're going to make this form first. And after that, we're going to link the uh, uh, OTP service to this form. Okay, so here you can see that we don't need the uh, header and footer. So for removing the header and footer, we have to go to this. And here in the page layout, we're going to choose the uh, Elementor canvas option. Okay, so you can see that we have our this page, which is uh, we, uh, uh, which is blank. That, uh, then after that, we have to go to the settings option. And in the settings, we have to go to the style option. And from here, we have to go to the background type. And here, we have to choose the black color. Okay, so let's me start. And here, we have to enter a flagbox container. So let's uh, go to advanced and here uh, let me enter uh, 100 100 to the top and 100 to the bottom padding and after that what we have to do we have to enter that uh, we have to enter this heading text here and we can name here anything so let me write here otp uh, verification otp verification using otp verification for elementor forms Okay, then after that, we have to click on this container option, go to the layout and here we have to choose this uh, center and center and uh, let me choose the text here and uh, we have to just make this white and uh, let's also uh, update this font. So for this font, we're going to choose the uh, Oswald font here. Okay, so let's me click this and we have to uh, increase the font size of this. So let's increase the font size to this to 40 pixels. Okay, then after that, we have to enter a form widget. So let me search here elemental forms. So you can see that we have this form which come from default from the uh, elementor team then after that you uh, you can see that we have this form here so we have to just style this form so we have to choose the fill to mediums and we don't want to show the uh, labels here so right now you can see that our form is little bit like this so let's me go to the here and we are going to go to the full width option and you can also add it here the width you want suppose i want to enter here 60 percent width or 70 percent width so it will take its place according to that so let me go to the container and here i'm going to again enter some spaces some space between these forms okay then let me quickly uh, style this form a little bit so we have to go to the fields option and here let me choose the black color and you can also change the font here suppose if you want okay but i don't want to make the video long so let me enter so let me give some border radius to this you can see that we have this border uh, border radius here now after that we have to go to the buttons and in the buttons option 
first we have to this option then from here increase its width also and here in the sum and here in the send option you can enter whatever you want for this button so let me enter here submit and after that we have to go to this uh, uh, option again here and here we have to choose the background color of the button to red so you can choose any color you want so let me choose the red color here and in the border radius also we're going to enter here uh, some values so it will look similar to the field above okay so right now you can see that these are all done so one more thing we have to do we have to go to the content and in the uh, elementor form fields we have to add an item here and let me give your placeholder mobile number and in the label also we have to give the mobile number so whenever you submit the form the data will be stored in the backend and this label is used to uh, this label used to recognize which the field is then after that we have to choose your uh, sms uh, alert okay you have to just choose here the sms alert option and uh, after that we have to just go to the fields option and here it is not visible i think so let me go to the content option again and here you can see that we have this mobile number okay then after that let's click on the required option so it is uh, i think showing some error here okay so then after that uh, okay so let's go to the style option okay so this comes then after that you can see that all these fields are ready now just we have to go to the content option and here you can see that we have action after submit so action after submit we don't want to send the email if you if you have done the uh, SMTP in your website, you can choose the uh, email option, but uh, this is but uh, but right now we don't have the uh, but right now we don't have the SMTP, so I'm don't want to choose. So here we have to choose the SMS alert on submission and also the this submission option. Okay, then after that we have to go to the SMS alert option and here what uh, uh, what feature we have to uh, enable. So right now I don't uh, so right now I only want to show the uh, OTP verification, so we have to disable this all option. But you can also uh, uh, but you can also uh, enable this option if you want to. Uh, add this feature in your website suppose you want to send an uh, admin sms to the admin so you can enter here it's a mobile number and what message you want to show to the uh, admin uh, you can also enter here and uh, suppose you want to show here the name of the person which is sending the form so just uh, you have to just uh, replace this text and just to go to the form fields and in the form fields go to the name option and go to the uh, advanced option and here you have to just uh, copy its short code from here and after that you have to just go to the sms select and here in the place of the admin we have to just enter its short code okay so uh, whenever the form is submitted it will uh, automatically copy its name to this okay so these are the settings but uh, but right now uh, i only want to show the uh, otp so we have to just uh, enable this first option okay so then we have to publish this form okay so after publishing we have to just view this page so let me view this page here so you can see that uh, right now this will don't work if i try to submit the form so we don't have uh, integrated the sms alert service here so open this website smsalert.co.in and here you uh, and here you will find two options so first option is for the login and second option is for the sign up so we have to go to the sign up option and we and after that you can see that it is saying that thanks you for logging in and and it has give you five demo sms for trial okay then after that uh, we have to just uh, go to our inbox okay then after going to the inbox we have our received our uh, email id and password so for that we have to just copy this email id and password so let me quickly copy this email id and password and we need this email id and, pa and uh, password here so we have to go to this uh, tools uh, okay you have to go to the settings and from here go to the sms alert and in the sms alert you will find this uh, first option so here i have already uh, entered an account so i'm gonna log out this account here Okay, and I'm gonna enter my new email ID and password which I have just received from here from the SMS Select team. So let me enter this password also. Okay, then here we have to enter this password and we have to click on the verify and continue option. Okay, so it will reload the page and it will uh, it will accept the password and we have to just click on the save changes. Okay, so this is linked. So after that, what we have to do? We have to go to the our forms and let, let's uh, uh, refresh this form here once so here we have to do one more setting we have to go to this uh, uh, we have to go to the style option and here in the message option we have to make this color uh, white so when the form is submitted it will give me this sms here okay let me publish this again then after that let's open this form in an incognito window so we have to open this form in the new incognito window here and let's uh, try to submit the form here so let me enter here ricky uh, ricky and let me enter here ricky at the rate gmail.com and let's enter here message demo mail and uh, let me quickly enter your mobile number okay let's submit the form 
and after submitting the form it will send the OTP to your mobile number so we have to just uh, enter the OTP which we have received so let me enter the OTP 9010 and we have to click on the validate OTP so after validating it, is, uh, it will say that OTP is successful validated and your submission was successful okay and if I go to the back end of my Elementor form so let me go to the uh, Elementor form submissions so let's go to the submission option and in the submissions option also we have just received this our mail the key at the rate gmail.com which we have just submitted okay so in this way you can add the otp verification in your elementor forms so i hope you like this video and this video is helpful for you if you are new to our channel subscribe to the channel and like and share our videos with your friends i'm gonna see you next time